Chapter 5, Without Interruptions Two days after Tom and his family's death, you went to their funeral. When it finished, you went home and jumped into your bed, then you started to think. Who could have killed them? You thought, whoever she or he is, they used a spear as a weapon. Maybe it's a monster and in that moment the doorbell rang. You opened the door and it was Sans and Undyne, putting his arm on your neck, Sans asked you, you okay, kiddo, and with a tear in your eye, you responded, I don't know. And then Sans and Undyne hugged you and said, come on, don't cry. Let's take a walk. Maybe that way you can feel better. And after that, you accepted and went to take a walk with them. After walking for a long while, it was 7.57 p.m., so you decided to go home, but Sans offered you something different, kiddo, would you like to have dinner dot 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 with us, said very shyly, you answered, fine dot 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 but I have to tell my parents. And Undyne responded, it will take a lot of time to go to your house and then return. Why don't you send them a message, and you answered, I forgot my phone at home. And then Sans said you can use mine. And gave you his phone. You put your mother's number and sent her a message Hello, Mum. I'm Wayne. I'm writing from a friend's phone because I forgot mine at home and to ask if I can go to this friend's house to have dinner. And she immediately answered, OK, you can go, son, daughter. Take care and don't come back too late, love you. And as you finished talking with your mother, Sans took his phone and added your mother's number to his contacts. You couldn't see the name that Sans used to add your mother's number since he used his arm to cover the phone screen so you can't see. After adding her to his phone, he said, All right, let's go before it becomes late. Dot 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 over here. I know a shortcut to home. Dot 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 and in a few seconds you were in front of a yellow house of two floors, with a huge garden. Its size was like a square's. Amazed, you asked, Do you really live here? And he answered, Nope, in front. And you turned round and saw a house with one floor, with wet walls and a broken glass of a window, chuckling, Sans said, We are seven money to buy a better house. But for now, this is what we got. Then you entered the house. Undyne told you to sit on the sofa, and she will go for Alphys and Papyrus. A while later, she came back, but only with Alphys, why didn't Papyrus come, you asked and Undyne answered, I don't know. He's been very weird recently. One day he is sad. Another day he is happy. Then sad again. Very weird. Worried, you asked her if you could go and see Papyrus, but before you could finish your question, a pair of goats came in the house, with seven bags each one. It seemed that one goat was female and the other one was male, the female goat was wearing some kind of purple tunic and the male goat was wearing a dot 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 king outfit. Suddenly, Sans said, why n? I present tutorial, the female goat, and as core, the male goat and also the old king of all monsters. And then the male goat said, don't remind me of that dot 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 and the female said you must be the friend that everyone told me about. Nice to meet you. And you shyly said, same for me. Then Undyne asked Toriel what was for dinner and she answered, the same of always, spaghetti with cinnamon butterscotch pie as desert. At that moment, you chuckled a bit. Then Undyne said, great. I'll cook the spaghetti, and then Toriel added, fine, but please don't stain or burn the kitchen like yesterday. And Undyne answered, I promise I'll try. And after that, as Gore, Toriel and Undyne went to the kitchen, leaving you alone with Alphys and Sans. Sans sat on the sofa to watch the TV, and then you also wanted to sit down, but before you could, Alphys asked you, Why N? Do you like anime? And you answered, MMM. Yes, Web Link, and she added, Great, then come to my bedroom. I want to show you a manga I bought. Slash oh, shame. I wanted to show you a manga I bought. And you responded, Fine, show me. And then she led you to the room, which she shared with Undyne. As you came in, you saw two beds on the left, one next to the other, you saw a desk with a computer and a TV next to it. 
and at the bottom you saw a window and on top of it you saw a dot 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 spear hung on the wall? As you saw that, you got quite impressed, since you remembered that Tom's father had got a spear crossed in the back. You asked Alphys why did she have a spear in her room and she answered, Oh, it's Undine's. She uses it as a weapon dot 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 and then your eyes widened. Alphys saw you and asked you what was wrong, you responded, that spear dot 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 is the same spear that Tom's father had crossed in the back dot 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 it is the same that was used to kill Tom's mother dot 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 it is the same that dot 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 was used to cut Tom's neck dot 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 and then Alphys saw you and said, why slash and dot 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 don't you think you are exaggerating, and you, uncontrolled, exclaimed, no. No dot 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 you all are planning to kill me dot 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 Undyne wanted to cook the spaghetti to poison me dot 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 and then suddenly Undyne came in the room and saw you with your desperate face and asked you what was wrong. You pushed her and came out of the room running. You decided to escape the house, until Sans stopped you in the exit door and asked you what was wrong, and you, eager for him to let you go, said. You are not my friends dot 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 you only want to kill me dot 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 like you did to Tom and his family dot 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 let me go dot 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 please dot 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 let me dot 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 and then he grabbed you tighter and added, look dot 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 I don't know what made you think that dot 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 but we are our friends and we want you to be fine dot 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 and you answered. It's a lie dot 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 you only want to kill me dot 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 let me please dot 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 and after that Sans hugged and added, shhh dot 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 take it easy dot 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. Undyne and Alphys went down the stairs to see what happened to you. Once they arrived, they asked you what was wrong and Sans answered for you. He or she thinks that you killed Tom and his family. Undyne asked why, and you, coming out of Sans arms responded, because of the spear you have in your room dot 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 which is the same that Tom's father had crossed in the back dot 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 and then Undyne went to her room to bring her spear to show you. While she showed you it, she said that it was a toy spear, of plastic. You touched it, to check if it was true, yes it was. But even so you asked, ok dot 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 but then dot 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 why did Alphys say that you used it as a weapon, and Undyne answered. MMMM dot 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 that's why we play a game about using fake weapons to fight between us every weekend dot 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 that's it dot 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 and then Sans added, yes, that's true, and here is my toy bone, which I use as a weapon dot 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 and then you, confused, said, so dot 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 you didn't kill Tom dot 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 or his parents dot 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 and Undyne affirmed, that's right. And after you heard that, you sighed in relief, saying, all right dot 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 I believe you. Suddenly Toriel exclaimed from the kitchen Undyne. Come here to put the noodles on the bowl, the water is boiling, and then Undyne went running to the kitchen and you, Alphys and San sat on the sofa and watched TV. After a few minutes, Undyne shouted from the kitchen, dinner is ready, and everyone went to the kitchen, where the table was set, you did also go. Everyone took a sit, a score in the tip. Undyne at his left and Alphys next to her, and next Alphys was Sans. At Asgore's right was Toriel and next to her there were two empty places. You decided to sit next to Toriel, but before you could, Asgore said, Why N, sorry but, could you please go for Papyrus, and you accepted, it is the room of the bottom. Sans added. You went to the hall, where there were the three bedrooms. You went to the bottom bedroom and knocked the door while saying, Papyrus, dinner is ready, are you coming? You waited for a few seconds, but there was no response, Papyrus, you asked, and suddenly you heard a sheet's sound and then a, why and is that you? Please come in dot 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 and after that, you came in the room. It was dark, you turned on the lights and saw Papyrus under the sheets. You told him one more time that dinner was ready. But he said, why N, do you love me, and you, chuckling, answered, of course, you silly. And he once again asked, as much as I love you, and you, confused, stood in silence. Papyrus turned around and said, the other day you told your parents that I was your friend dot 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 and you reacted, yes, and what's wrong with it? And then Papyrus threw the sheets away and said, sit down here. 
next to me. Dot, 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 and you, a little bit nervous, sat. Papyrus, immediately, wrapped his arm around you and said, I want to be more than your friend. Dot, 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 y slash n. I want you to be my boyfriend slash girlfriend. Dot, 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 and then you blushed a bit and decided to say something, but in the moment you opened your mouth, Papyrus leaned his denture on your lips and immediately moved back and said, Since we met, you never gave me a kiss without interruptions. Dot, 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 would you give it to me now? And you, red like a tomato, accepted and started to kiss his denture. As you gave him kisses, he wrapped his long arms around your torso and you leaned your hands on his shoulders. You kept up kissing for a while, with your eyes closed, until he decided to put your head in his scarf, for that you opened your eyes so you could put your head in his scarf properly, with your head in. You were going to close your eyes so you can continue on kissing him, but before you could do that, you took a look on the door and saw Sans peeking on you. In that moment you thought about stop kissing Papyrus, but you also thought that you would once again interrupt a kiss between you and Papyrus, you didn't know what to do. Interrupt or not interrupt you thought while looking at Papyrus Denture.